Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be asking tech employees whether they think artificial intelligence will replace their jobs. I'm at a tech conference in Sydney, Australia, and I'm super excited to hear what people have to say. Let's go. So first question is, what is your name, your role, and how long have you been working in tech? Hello Lucy, I'm Chung Vu. I've been in tech for more than 20 years, and I am a principal architect at AWS. What are your thoughts on AI and the recent developments? I think artificial intelligence or AI is at the crux of technology right now. It is similar to the internet and mobile when it came in. It's so important for the future, but it's still in its infancy, I believe. Have you been using tools like ChatGPT, other AI tools? Yeah, generative AI like ChatGPT has been out there and I've experimented myself. Star Stability Diffusion is another tool I've been using to generate images. It is quite interesting on how much it can do for us now. But like I said, I think it's still in its infancy and over the years, it will improve. Do you think AI will be replacing your job in the near future? That's a difficult question for myself because what I'm doing is not unique to uh, other roles that other people are doing. But I believe that there'll be a point in time where AI possibly can do the job that I'm doing. But I'm not so afraid of that because I may be working on other things. That makes sense because AI might eliminate jobs in the future, but it's going to also introduce many, many other jobs, right? That's right. Uh, we hear jobs now or skills in prompt engineering. It didn't exist a few months ago or even years ago, but in the future, that may be a role that someone um, have as their job, creating the prompts that can get details or information out of AI. So for people looking to get into tech, is it still a career path you'd recommend? Absolutely. I started in tech when we didn't have the internet. Now we've got the internet, and at that time when we didn't have the internet, people were worried that the internet would take away their jobs and take away what they do, but actually it created more jobs. And I believe that AI would do the same thing. It will create jobs that we don't know that we need yet. So do get into tech, it will change, and you will get a role if you're interested. Do you think there'll be some roles that will be automated and replaced by AI? I believe that ultimately AI will be able to do things that we can do now, but the human psyche is still very different. We're unpredictable. We do things that AI cannot do yet. So eventually, yes, but it's a long, long time away still. And what advice would you have for people who are worried that AI might potentially replace their jobs? If you are worried, what you can do is understand what AI can do and see how you can participate and contribute to that. That would then safeguard your role because you may be able to change into another role that is very beneficial and is working with AI rather than against AI. Awesome. Thanks so much, Chun, for your time today. Thank you, Lucy. What is your name, your role, and how long have you been working in tech? So my name is Michael Wormsley. Um, my role, I work for Accenture as a serverless enabler, and I've been working in tech for 30 years. So what are your thoughts on AI and the future of generative AI and ChatGPT? Ooh, that's interesting. Um, AI, in my opinion right now, I think we're getting very little out of AI today. We're getting categorization, we're getting statistical analysis. I think that's as far as we're going today. Generative AI, is once the hype dies down, I feel they've got real value. If we train it with, with our own data and our own enterprise data, we can get real value and power out of generative AI, in my opinion. I'm excited by that. What are some ways you've been using AI in your daily work? So in my daily work, I actually work um, at Accenture in the AI ops group. So we build artificial intelligence operational software, which is kind of scary when you combine that with AI. We're generally using it for categorization. We do sentiment analysis of emails, and we also do uh, normally detection through monitoring metrics of alerts. Do you think AI will be replacing jobs in tech anytime soon? Having worked in AI ops where we do automation of operational concerns, AI is already starting to replace low-level jobs. I think anybody who's doing a job that's simple and repetitive and can be automated, I think that's the risk today. Um, anywhere that we need to have real um, decisions made or, or real thought put behind the task, that's where AI is not going to work for us. AI is very simple in what it does, and it's got to be reliable. And I think that's, a, that's the fear we have today with AI and machine learning. So where do you see AI going in the next five to 10 years? Given where it's come throughout my career, I think generative AI is going to really accelerate the, the, the game that AI is playing. I think that's exciting. Where is it going to go in five to 10 years? I, I, I don't, don't think we'll get to sentience. I hope we don't. But as I build autonomous software, where AI can go, 
go is kind of kind of um, freaky when you think about it, to be honest. So for those who are looking to get into tech, do you think it's still a viable career path given the recent advancements? I think so. I think it's a real it's a real place where I think we need more people, more humans involved in making decisions. The more diverse people we can get into the advancement of AI, the better AI is actually going to get. So I think it's a real growing area. Data and analysis and artificial intelligence, machine learning, I think they're the key technologies in the next five to ten years. What is your name, your role and how long have you been working in tech? My name is Anne-Marie Charrett. I'm the Director of Quality Engineering at Culture Amp, and I have been in tech for longer years than you have been on this planet. So, <laughs> You must have seen a lot of tech advancements, tech changes, the whole industry just shifting. And speaking of that, what are your thoughts on AI and where do you see AI in the future? Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely the new kid on the block. It gives us so much potential to do new things, but it will never really replace human beings. Well, not yet, anyway. Um, I think we're safe there for a while. Um, there are some things that AI will be really, really useful for, and it's going to be another tool in our tool set. But um, at this point in time, it's not going to replace anyone's job. We really need smart people who are prepared to tackle those problems that we really want to solve in our world today and, and technology can help us solve those problems. Have you been using AI recently, for example, ChatGPT, and what are your thoughts on it? Okay. You know what I love more than ChatGPT? CatGPT. <laughs> It's totally hilarious. Tell us more about it. Okay, you just ask any question and the cat tells you meow, meow, meow. It's like perfect. <laughs> but no, seriously, yeah, I use chat GPT. Use it to help me create a Python script the other day just to get the basics down. And then, you know, that you can use that framework to, to help you get started. So there are some people I talk to who are quite early on in their career and deciding whether or not they should get into tech. And a lot of questions I get asked these days is, should I even bother getting into tech? or cloud if it might replace my job. What are your thoughts on that? And would you still encourage people to start a career in tech? I mean, if you love tech and you're excited by tech, you should just give it a go. Nothing in life gives you full answers. You're never going to be 100% sure whether it's the right thing. But that's part of life. Life is about trying things out, giving it a go, seeing if it works out and letting it take you down a path that you maybe never imagined it was going to take you before. There's so many options that tech will lead you to that you can't even imagine right now. So just do it. Exactly, right? Like I started off in tech and now I'm making YouTube videos. Right. <laughs> it's just, that's part, that's what living's about, right? And that's what, giving it a go. And yeah, you'll learn lots of things and life's exciting when you do that. Are there any jobs you think could potentially be replaced by AI in the near future? I think all those that are heavily repetitive type jobs, you know, yes, the jobs that require a huge amount of human involvement are going to be much, much harder to replace. Place. There are some elements of programming that AI is going to be able to support and do, but it's never at the end of the day going to be able to help you understand some of the core elements of tech. Uh, the ability to communicate, the ability to collaborate, uh, these are really important things. Like we need these to build tech and we need a diversity of perspectives. I think for now at the moment tech we're, we're still okay. I think so too. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Emma, no for your time today. Yeah, yeah, no, thanks very much, Lucy. All the best. What is your name, your role, and how long have you been working in tech? Hi, everyone. I'm Naomi. I've been working in the tech industry for over three years now, and I'm an AI ML specialist at Amazon Web Services. So first question I have is, since you're an AI ML specialist, what sort of trends have you been seeing in the AI space? A few trends I've been seeing is that AI has been democratized across a lot of developers, across all industries as well. With the rise of ChatGPT, we've seen that AI ML has been, you know, a dinner table conversation now. It's not just for the CEOs or CTOs or even the developers which are in AI ML space. My mum and dad are talking about AI ML now, so it's been a big, it's been a big shift over the last few months. So how have you seen people use ChatGPT and other AI tools recently? The main way that people have been using it is to improve their productivity, to save them time, um, even you know to help with writer's block. So if someone's not sure um, how to start a paragraph, you can ask ChatGPT to get, get you started. Um, and even in areas of social media, as we've all seen, uh, or in the design space, 
and in copywriting, I think. Another question I have is, do you think AI could potentially replace jobs in the future? I think definitely potentially. It will disrupt the workforce and the landscape of employment dramatically. The World Economic Forum in 2020 predicted that 85 million jobs will be displaced. However, 97 million jobs will be created by 2025. And it just shows the way that AI ML will be transforming the employment landscape. Roles that we have never even imagined of in the next few years will come about because of AI. It's not just the technical space that will be affected. So there's big opportunities out there, which is quite exciting to me. What are some ways you think people could upskill and learn about AI? Talking to different people in different generations is actually an interesting way of learning more. I think as you know, the younger generations are more up to date with technology, it's great to learn from them. Um, it's also great to learn from those who have seen the transformation from a bigger picture, bigger scale over the last few years. Just um, being curious and reading more about the changes that are to come with AIML. One question I get asked is, is it even worth it to get into tech or cloud? That's something a lot of job seekers are wondering because they see that ChatGPT, for example, could now write code. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think it can completely replace the job or these jobs will still be around for the near future? I think there will always be a human element to technology and it's really important to make sure that we have responsible AI as well, especially in the AI space. So I don't think that you should be deterred by joining the tech industry. We're just getting started and it's going to become a much more widely adopted area as enterprises adopt AI. So it's a great time to get involved now. I wouldn't be deterred. What do you think are some new jobs that will pop up with the rise of AI? Some of the new roles that I think will come about would be things like AI policy in terms of governance, regulation, risk mitigation. And then I think there'll be an increased need around developers um, in the AI space, data engineers, data scientists. They'll be the ones that are developing these AI ML softwares and applications. If you see there's a gap, there's always an opportunity for you to invent your own role. Thanks so much for your time today, Naomi. Thank you so much for having me as well. What is your name, your role, and how long have you been working in tech? Uh, my name is Lasith. I'm a DevOps engineer at Reese Group. I've been working in IT for just about a year now. So really fresh to enterprise IT. And have you been using ChatGPT and AI recently? What are your thoughts on it? I haven't done a deep dive into it, but I've kind of played around with it for like small queries and like little side projects. Would you see AI replacing your job in the near future? In my opinion, so I work in DevOps and one of my core responsibilities is responding to production incidents. And something that you cannot replace is being able to talk to an engineer to kind of get a clear assessment of what the issue is, what's the status of the investigation. Speaking from a DevOps perspective, there's a lot of work that needs to be done from AI to be able to have that level of response and reliability and trust. I think that's a really big thing that needs to be discussed. Can it be trusted by upper levels of management to provide reliable information? Would you see some jobs being more affected by AI compared to others? You know what, that, that's a really interesting question. Like there are certain you know, sectors of fields that are going to be replaced. One thing that I'd be on the lookout for is testing. Like testing is something, there are like dedicated testing engineers that like do exist and the ability for ChatGPT for you to be able to put a function in and for it to generate a bunch of unit tests based off that, I'd be kind of concerned if you have a highly specialized role that can be replaced. You've got to be really careful not to just be like, no, I'm not going to be replaced. I think you just got to understand that these, these are really impressive tools. You just got to learn to adopt them as part of your you know, workflow and don't be that person that's like, I'm not going to get replaced and then gets replaced. <laughs> so where do you see AI going in the next five to ten years? So I think one of the current bottlenecks that AI and its consumption within enterprise IT is the fact that we, we have a single model right now that's being used by a global community. That's kind of limiting adoption because a lot of companies are hesitant to use these models that are going to be sharing data with the wider community. I foresee a future where there's going to be like chat GPTs specific to each kind of company. Yeah, it might be just a race to see who can develop the best model, who can put the most amount of data into it. Almost like it's going to be like an arms race basically with just uh, chat GPT models. So for people who are worried about AI and chat GPT replacing their jobs, what advice would you have for them? I would personally recommend trying to understand your current role and what parts of it can be replaced by AI. It's all about understanding your personal weaknesses and upskilling in that 
kind of department. Continuous learning, exactly. Continuous <laughs> All right, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you very much, Lucy. What is your name, your role, and how long have you been working in tech? Uh, my name's Sana Ubroy. I work as a partner manager across ANZ for the cloud security providers. Um, work at Palo Alto Networks and been in the industry for just over five years now. What are your thoughts on ChatGPT and AI? Have you tried some of those tools yourself? Oh my God, yes, I have. Yeah, I've used it for writing poems. I've used it as an itinerary planner for my trips. So I find it super helpful and I definitely think it's going to pick up. I see it replacing a lot of things. I think if you look at retail now, if you look at technology, we see it, you see it picking up in pretty much every industry, right? So as a partner manager, have you been using it in your day-to-day -day tasks or can you see AI potentially streamlining some of the work that you currently do? I definitely think it's going to streamline a lot of the work in terms of automating. I do think, however, um, some of those roles that require face-to-face -face human interaction, it can't replace, like education. What advice would you have for people who are kind of scared of what AI would bring to the future of jobs? I think embrace it. I think um, it has a use for everyone, no matter what you work in, whether it be retail, whether it be technology, whether it be banking, it, it has a way of being used for appropriate purposes. I mean, you look at hospitals in rural that never had access to technology or artificial intelligence, which is now it's really helping, you know, um, in surgeries, you have people joining from the States that are performing virtual surgeries now. So I definitely think embrace it and use it for what it can be used for, but it applies to everyone. And I think, I can't think of a single industry where uh, it's not useful. What is your name, your role, and how long have you been working in tech? I'm um, David, I'm a cloud engineer and I've been working in tech for four years. Cool, okay. so. What are your thoughts on the future of AI? Do you think it's going to be replacing jobs? Um, maybe not replacing jobs, but I think it will be like a big part of like some jobs like in the future, especially like engineering ones. Do you think a cloud engineer role could be potentially replaced by AI? Um, it's a scary thought, possibly, but I feel like AI can never like do the job like 100% of the time, at least like currently. What is important for now is that it gives like good foundations, like it builds like the building blocks. It's like a great tool to use so far. So yeah, I'm not worried, but it is scary to think about sometimes. As much as AI can do right now, and like as powerful as it is, you can re never really replace, I guess, like the decision-making um, process. And in the end, you do need to know, like, it's like what questions to ask or like what problem statement or design decision you're trying to solve in order for like AI to be effective with it, right? So I think those skills do come from like learning in tech and like really being hands-on in tech because without implementation doing things like by yourself you can never really like learn it truly like what a solution does and AI should be treated more as like a tool to help you do the job rather than like it does the complete job like for you. Yeah I agree completely a lot of people I talked to today they were calling AI as a tool a personal assistant but not really as something you should be competing with or something that would potentially take over the whole job at least not for now. Yeah definitely agreed.